Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Doc and Queenie Live every Monday at Hi, dude. Woo! Very good. That would be okay. that would be central time, Doc. Oh yeah. Okay. Should we do it again? <laughs> no. <laughs> Hi, noon. Oh my god. Hi, noon. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna change from alto bass soprano. I'll figure it out. Um, I'm super, I really mean, I'm super excited. How was your mother's day? It was fantastic. Uh, we Very got cool. to hang out and. I know your family is foodies and everybody always wants to know Doc's menu. Well, um, if you pay attention to me on either Kitchen Garden Expert or on my personal or on my YouTube channel, you will notice there's lots of spinach growing in this, this oh, weather that we have. It's cool and we keep getting rain. And I have harvested, I'm on number four already. Oh my I gosh. Get, normally I get two, two good harvests this year. Nope. We doubled it. So uh, we had spinach guacamole. Wow. Okay. Interesting. And then we also, um, I also, I had to try spinach muffins. <laughs> it's kind of like zucchini bread. You just kind of throw it in okay. there. Well, the, my brain goes there. All right. You throw it in there. It it adds a little nutrition. And most of the recipes for the zucchini muffin, or I'm sorry, for the spinach muffins are like for good for kids to get their, you know, their vegetables in. And you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> Ain't no kid I know that's going to eat that, but okay. Well, they just look at it and go, there's, there's green, there's green things <laughs> yeah. in here. <laughs> yeah. A lot of kids are allergic to green. I understand. That. I yes, I think so. So those were the top two, and then we barbecued, and my daughter made well, dessert. It was gorgeous weather in Kansas City. Actually, it was seriously gorgeous weather, and a barbecue was just such a great idea. So that is pretty fabulous. And um, honestly, it's nice. I know it, in your family, all hands on deck. Uh, did mommy get to sit up with her feet on the sofa, or were you participating in the cooking? I I just needed to get things done in a timely manner. <laughs> I know what that means. I know what that means. I know what that means. So, you know, it's good afternoon, Debbie Miller. Debbie Miller. And how was your Mother's Day, Queenie? It was fantastic, similar to yours as far as barbecuing, tons of grilled vegetables. That was a blast. And honestly, it was a beautiful day in Kansas City. And I am such an outside person. It's like, OMG. I know a lot of people have had graduations. One of my grandsons graduated actually from high school. And so it's just been a whirlwind. You see the families with all these schedules and everybody's going here. Where are you going there? What time this? Something else that? And I'm just like, you know what? And it's a very, oh my gosh, it's a very good thing that Jesus made young people the parents. And yeah. other, other people who aren't young don't have to do that part anymore. We just show up where we're told. Yep. I, you know, with all of the graduations, people, it brings back the memories. Um, we had out of our three kids, two graduations have the threat of rain or yeah. the night yeah. before had rain. Yep. And I can remember we were always the people they, they would do it on the football field. So we were all, we always would climb up to the top. So you could just kind of watch everything. But of course, um, that meant that we took our time getting down because the parking lot was jammed. And, you know, just going through all of that, it's tiring, even though you're just sitting there watching. You know, yeah, and then well, you see I do appreciate the views, uh, actually, to be up high perched. And so, yeah, I definitely appreciate the views. There is uh, this graduation was actually in a church and it was magnificent, gorgeous. Uh, perfect AV, everything. And um, yeah, it was it was a perfect weekend. And for those of you not in Kansas City, we'd love to know how your weather is. Happy Mother's Day and Grandma's Day to you too, Deb. And so it really is one of those things. First of all, how is it May? Second of all, how is it almost the middle of May? Third of all, May 17th, Delinda Lane and the Fun Fearless Female Global Community is having the next Kansas City luncheon in person. And when we first, uh, when I first said yes, what RSVP, uh, back when Delinda first set it up, didn't you think May 17th was going to be 100 years from now? Oh, gosh, yeah. Yeah. And here we are two days, and I'm just like, oh, my gosh. And, of course, now I've got other things on the calendar, and I'm like, good thing I put it on there when I did. 
So, so it's May 17th or is it May, is it Wednesday or is it oh, Friday? 15th, I'm sorry, May 15th. Yeah, I'm going. May, May, 17th, May 17th, I was just going to say May 17th, I've got a posting party. So that's what's on my head. Um, May 15th, yes, is Delinda's luncheon and May 17th is a posting party with Denise Vargas. So I look at this calendar and I go, what were you actually thinking when you set these things up? So, I, yeah. you know, I, I don't have any, any comment from the first yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. Happy high noon to you, Karen. It is so awesome to see you on this call. And totally we are super excited. Honestly, Doc, I was looking at the calendar when you mentioned last time about Doc and Queenie Day number four. That is August number five. And I'm looking at this going, you've got to be kidding how fast four years has gone by. Oh, it's incredible. It's incredible. I don't know. You know, what, what can you say? <laughs> But I can say that it's happy crouton and apple pie day. <laughs> That's the best I could do for national day. Hey, that, all right. That's, and you love the food part. So I get that apple pie. Uh, Jasper actually posted apple pies today. I think. Did he? Mm -hmm. Cool. Very cool. So do you, yeah. do you have a preference? I know we go through this every year. Once a year we have to see, let's see. I'm trying to think of what, Queenie's favorite pie would be if there was a pie put in front of her. It can't be real sweet. Um, so that eliminates. Do you like mincemeat? <laughs> I know. Ew. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't look like my cup of tea, as they say. All the, the cherry pie, blueberry pie, all that stuff is a little too not happening. Um, I could possibly handle... Uh, I think like as soon as you say pie, lemon meringue comes to mind. So I could yes. maybe handle that. I forgot um, about that. Yes. Yeah. I, I could That's maybe do that, favorite. but, but, uh, and pecan is fine, but it has to be Thanksgiving and it has to be about a one inch wedge or otherwise not happening. See, to so, me, pecan is so sugary. It would kill me on one bite. I would go right. into it. That's why I mean, just, it has to be one little sliver. Cause that I would actually probably croak. But lemon meringue is one of my favorites. And it's also one of my favorites not to make myself because I'm <laughs> <laughs> Well, the good news is Karen and Debbie are um, amazing uh, in the kitchen. So maybe Karen and Debbie could make us lemon They're meringue. Gonna, yes, we'll take, we'll take three a piece, or at least yeah. I will. <laughs> yeah. yeah, seriously. And if you just want her three, then we'll take Blueberry, wow, Karen. Okay. Uh, custard, custard is good. Yes, custard's a, a good one. So, yes, happy National Crouton Apple Pie Day. Tomorrow, you know, there was not a lot to choose from. Tomorrow's buttermilk biscuits. I don't eat biscuits anymore. I'm sure they're good. Um, you'll love Wednesday. Wednesday is bring flowers to someone day. Oh, I do love that, actually. That's very cool. And chocolate chip day. Do you like chocolate chips, Queenie? Um, I suppose the answer to that would well, actually, as soon as you said that, you know what I thought of? I always think every time I hear chocolate, I think about your dynamic video with the chocolate bacon. So I actually have seen people take wavy chips, like those big, thick, kind of wavy, wavy potato chips, and dip them halfway in chocolate, and that's their dessert. And they, they put them on a, on a tray. And so I thought, well, you know, don't don't say never until you try it. And I thought, well, let me think about that. Needless to say, I haven't made them. But I look at that. First of all, it looks amazing. And second of all, it's um, the sweet and savory that you always talk about. And so uh, anyway, that's what I think of when you say chocolate. But chocolate chips, uh, I would probably sprinkle many chocolate chips on top of something. And sometimes when you get lattes from uh, coffee shops, um, sometimes I say make it as it says right here. Other times I say no this, no that, no that depending upon what the top, what the occasion is. And they have sprinkled mini chocolate chips on top and usually it's dark chocolate. So I can appreciate that. Yes. I sometimes ask them to add extra. <laughs> oh, do you really? So you, the chocolate chip piece, um, yours is always dark chocolate too, I would imagine. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I've never, I've never tried the potato chip thing, but the first, I'll never forget the first time I saw those was in a hotel. And of course it was the, um, in the, in the, re, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, I don't know, the gift bar or whatever, you know, you open it and it's $10. So I didn't open it. Oh, yeah. But they had a little bag and I'm like, huh, chocolate covered potato chips. He, it's funny. I'll have to try that sometime. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Well, like I say, uh, I have seen them. I don't think I, I would, I think I would have remembered if I made them, but anyway, that would be my, my take on chocolate maybe. Um, Cause the too sweet thing would never work for me. 
No. Uh, I can't, I just think chocolate chip day. Okay. We'll have to celebrate. That's cool. So, and then Thursday is a lot, there's lots to celebrate on Thursday. It's classic movie day. And I know you like classic movies, don't you, Queenie? I do indeed. I love classic, like old time. And then I love classic, what I would consider current classic, which is like, um, Hallmark. Uh, well, certainly that, but you've got mail and, and, uh, sleepless in Seattle and those kind of movies. So, um, so th those would be classic three? to me. Do you have top three or a top one? Maybe three is probably. Um, well, I, there certainly would never be a top one, but classic 100 years ago would be like a white Christmas type movie because I, I would love that. Um, but Sleepless in Seattle is a biggie. Uh, the proposal I actually have been finding and my new favorite that I don't think is anywhere near classic yet. I'm sure it's a timely thing from a standpoint of uh, one's own aging topic is called The Intern. And I actually love that. And uh, so I've watched that several times. So what about you? I know you don't do movies, but the other night I saw you on a networking event that happened to do with movies. And who was the stellar exceller? You. So I <laughs> heard that you have watched movies occasionally with your with your family. Back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, the the the, cla the classics, you know, in the 80s. Uh, She's having a baby is is one that I just loved. It was very adult humor, just quirky, but fun. Uh, one of the movies that Kevin Bacon is in, you know, one of the thousands of mo movies where he shows up. Um, that was one of my favorites when Harry met Sally. I'm trying to think of any of the others. Um, but yeah, those are. And then we go through uh, all of the Home Alone, uh, Ferris Bueller, <laughs> all of those uh, same uh you know, uh, producer movies. Of course, I can't think of his name off the top of my head. You, tell, you can tell there might be boys in your family. There's a few boys. Well, and those movies are, it, it's like planes, trains, and automobiles. I'm trying to think of the guy's name who uh, produced them all, but they're all based in uh, Northwest suburbs of Chicago. So it's, it's funny because we're like, Oh, that looks familiar. <laughs> so um, we love those, but happy national classic movie movie day on Thursday. And then it's also Barbecue and mimosas. Okay. Um, we were never big barbecue people. I mean, we do barbecue, but um, I know it's a big thing around here. We're, we're from Chicago. Barbecue, there is barbecue in Chicago, but not like it is down here or if you go in the south. Um, but yeah, the, the first time we moved here, and we've been here for a long time, um, we had never heard of brisket. We didn't know what that was. <laughs> which is funny and burnt ends. So even, even uh, our, our families are still back in Chicago and we went, we took them out to Casey masterpiece and they're like, burnt ends. What is that? <laughs> You're like, you got to try it. So, um, but yes, Thursday is barbecue mimosas and classic movies. And then Friday is celebration of Idaho, the 43rd state in 1890. And also it's a NASCAR, it's NASCAR day. They're kind of honoring the drivers and the promotions and their fans and all of that. I'm not a, to me, NASCAR is kind of boring. They just drive in a circle. I, that's yeah. in a lot of ways. <laughs> um, but I've, I've had friends over the years that were totally into that. And I'm just like, why would you pay $300 to sit in the seats and have to wear earplugs? I don't know. That's just me. How about you? Do you like NASCAR, Queenie? Uh, actually, I have been, and I, uh, for what anything outside, you know, I'm a fan of that. And so warm outside, not freezing outside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, usually, of course, NASCAR is toasty. And uh, I have learned the hard way that when you are in sports arenas, paying for down by the track is not a good idea with the NASCAR topic. So you need to get at least halfway, even toward the top is smarter from a standpoint of uh, all the crud that flies off all the cars yep. all the time, yep. as far as the asphalt and all the black dust stuff. And, but anyway, I love being there. It's ex ex very exciting. And the fans are, uh, it feels uh, camaraderie to me when, when you go to those types of events, because everybody is so excited and everybody's kind of like on the same page. Obviously they're rooting for different drivers, but um, it's everybody's just on the same page from a standpoint. Of, let's all get along. Though, you know, I do have a, I do have a disclaimer though. I mean, I, oh. I've, I've been to, I went to Kansas. I want to say it was in Kansas city, Kansas, um, flat track. It was, I don't know if you oh. call it professional. 
I, and like you said, we sat towards the, yeah, we're covered in dust and dirt by the end of the, in, in death. Don't wear yeah. a white t-shirt. I'm just here to tell you, I have a fabulous golden yeah. white that I'll and, never and, and don't be picky if you're hungry because there's really not much juice from <laughs> But yeah. um, I don't yeah. think they serve organic. I'm not. I'm yeah. guessing. No, yeah. we we will just have French fries and fried whatever. But um, <laughs> I do enjoy. But I can never have anybody go with me because my family just doesn't want to, and it makes me laugh. Demolition derbies just make me laugh. I don't know why, but yeah, and that's another got to sit further up because things might go flying on that one. <laughs> yeah, Pieces and I actually fun. know people that do demo derbies, as they call it, and. My brain, my my financial good steward, Jesus Christ, that whole thing, my brain is $900, $10,000, something else, thousand. Why would you wreck a good something? And I'm like, oh, my gosh. Uh, once. Oh, yep. Karen, One Karen was over it. Karen was over it. Okay. So, so that is NASCAR on Friday. Saturday is No Dirty Dishes Day. Yes. And Learn to Swim. <laughs> Check. That uh, Sunday is devil's food cake. I didn't look up why they call chocolate cake devil's food, but you know, and then take your parents to the playground, but I'm not really sure if I want to go to the playground because I think get dizzy when I swing and even yeah. work. <laughs> and I'm not going down the slide. <laughs> I, that takes care of the playground. So you're done. So, so I have a really cool quote that I was going to share it. today that yeah. I, saw on one of my feeds from one of the um, uh, naturopathic doctors that I follow. Um, yes. Hashtag no dirty dishes day. <laughs> <Got it. laughs> Debbie is our hashtag guru. She is the hashtag queen. So here, here, this is really, you know, this is really good. It's, it's a good statement. We all know it, but it's a good reminder. It says, hate no one, no matter how much they've wronged you. Live humbly, no matter how wealthy you become. Think positively, no matter how hard life is. Uh, give much, even if you've been given little. Forgive all, especially yourself, and never stop praying for the best for everyone. Wow. Was, uh, yeah. So, yeah, uh, and great they, messages. That's a great quote, Doc. They, they capitalized hate, live humbly, think positively, give much, forgive all, and the best. So, yeah, that that's a that's a good kind of a good self exam for the for the moment and the day. So, there we go. So I think we've got some wheels to spin. This will be interesting. I know we really do, and I and thank you again for everyone watching now or certainly on the replay, um, because we love it when you send words for us to add to the wheel and certainly topics. So we have definitely been enjoying that. Doc's favorite number is seven, mine is five. We will shuffle six times and find out what fantastic word comes up this day for, oh my gosh, this is cool. All right, Doc, you are up. Oh man, again, <laughs> journey, journey. Yeah. It's, it's been an interesting journey. journey. Um, let's see, business-wise, I'm always punting and pivoting because it's difficult in some respects, but I like difficult and challenge. So I'm always trying to push, push my uh, business to the max, whether it's social media or what I'm creating or how I'm creating. So um, one of my best YouTube shorts was what does a gardener do on a rainy day? Oh, and all that I did, was classic. All I did was stick my lip out and I got thousands of people liking it. So I thought that was hilarious. Um, yeah, we're all on a journey, no matter if it's business, personal, faith. Um, you know, for me, I, I guess if there's a little tidbit, God's got it no matter where you're at, whether you're on the top of the mountain or in the valley. He knows it. He's there. Uh, he's there for you at, on the top or in the bottom. And um, if he doesn't show up, you got to just keep waiting. And it's, it's always exciting to see what he's going to do next. How about you, Queenie? How do you take journey? <laughs> How much time do you have? Uh, 11 yeah, I, minutes. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Um, I, I just came from a, a networking event and the gentleman, my background was up with my miracles with water and my books and all that. 
And he said, oh my gosh, tell me your story. <laughs> I thought, oh my goodness. And so in those groups, we have seven minutes per um, breakout room and uh, super sweet and alignable, by the way, are there's 8,700,000 people on alignable. And I haven't met them all yet, but I am definitely working on it. And I, I thought to myself, even at the time, you go into the God drives my bus thing and all of a sudden everything's going along smoothly, boom and crash, smoothly, boom and crash, recover, boom and crash. And it keeps happening like that. And you, and, and your brain goes, what for me, I say, what am I supposed to learn from this? And that is always my thing is what am I supposed to learn from this? Because my uh, premise, my, my thought process is there are no accidents right. and uh, in the kingdom, it's not like he he goes when someone has died. It's not like they get up there and he goes, "What are you doing here?" Like he didn't yeah. call for them, you know. Well, and so, the, yeah, <laughs> that's why I mean yeah. it's not your turn. And the journey piece is, um, what do we learn from each experience? And my journey with Congan Water has been so magnificent that I, um, I I. I sometimes feel, first of all, I'm very glad I DBA'd Miracles with Water. Obviously, everybody that sees that on my background, they go, I bet you're a Christian. And I'm like, hello, yes. yes. <laughs> and so that, that part worked out great all of a sudden with the identifier piece. But the rest of that story is the journey part because of the Miracles with Water business came all the books. And so I just think the journey is magnificent. I really can't wake up to wait. I can't wait to wake up every morning because I never know what he's going to do. And to, to think my autobiography is God drives my bus is um, I, I just, the journey has been spectacular. Now the stuff in it, just like you were mentioning the challenges and valleys and top of the mountain and all that stuff. But the, the journey topic itself, knowing he's driving has been the best ever. Very cool. That's really cool. That's a great word. And thank you again for everyone that sends us words to add to the wheel. That's a great word. Totally. Yes. Thank you very much. Now I can't wait to see what's next. Yeah. <laughs> you are eager today, aren't you? I'm awake. It's yeah, Monday. Yeah. Your favorite How day. How is that possible? It's Monday and Doc is awake. I'm just happy I have the day off. <laughs> we should. Yeah. I was going to say, keep that rain coming, right? Yep. All right. Let's see what our is for doc and queenie oh absolutely not i think i took no i left doc on there too let me just spin again um we only leave these on just because that's who we are just so you guys know we definitely don't need to talk about that oh my gosh now this has to do with your quote doc this is cool Ooh, give happiness absolutely give happiness that that is a very cool statement so once again thank you for everyone that is sending us these topics yeah, you know, give happiness. Um, I I like to, I've talked about this a lot. I like to go through the checkout lane and talk to the checker. And sometimes you see cranky people that can't wait to get out of there or something that <laughs> knows. We don't know their story. But I always try to try strike up a conversation. And I, I usually start it with, how's your day going? And they kind of look at you like, what? Yeah. So you can usually tell within five seconds if they're having a good day or a bad day and um, it's all about being positive. Think positively, no matter how hard life is. Give much, even if you've been given little. You can't That's why I say it ties into your quote today and yeah. hello, yeah. duh, accidental. And I just, that's magnificent. How do you take give happiness, Queenie? I uh, have found that people love to talk about themselves. And I like to give them the stage the opportunity to do that. And so even, uh, let, let's just say for conversation starters, many people say, oh, how's it going? Or how was your day? Or uh, whatever that is. And for me, uh, think about when you pick your kids up from school. Most of the time they hop in the car and you say, how was your day? So that either evokes tears like, oh my gosh, everything fell apart. Or I got a this and a gold star and a something else. Well, what I always have said, and I guess I did this 100 years ago just because, I always said, instead of how was your day, sometimes you'd get fine, what'd you do, nothing, who'd you see, nobody, blah, blah, blah. And I guess I had had enough of that. 
So I thought, okay, we're going to fix this because I'm not driving 12 minutes to get home with dead silence in the car. It's not my strength. And so I said, tell me the coolest thing that happened to you today. And all of a sudden it was like, oh, my something and my this. Well, then they got to know what the question was going to be. So it's almost like they made sure something fabulous was going to happen. And that gave them the stage. Oh my gosh, guess what happened today? And sometimes it wasn't about them. Susie did a something or Billy did a something or Joey did a this, but it, that was the coolest thing that happened. So now they were looking for it because they knew when they got in the car, that's what I was going to say. So the gift happiness to me part is, thanks for that, Deb. The gift happiness for me part is um, give people a platform to share their something. And because like I say, people love to talk about themselves. And so um, that for me has been a great fit for, for networking and certainly for kids. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. And you know, it's an extra bonus if you've made somebody's day by just, Oh gosh, you, know, you are so right. So giving, giving, you know, it's, it's, it's a blessing for the person you're giving to and the results for us giving it's, you know, sometimes you don't count on, it makes you feel happy. You know, it really does. So so, I but um, guess, guess what, Queenie? We're like almost out of time. Oh my gosh. This is the happy fastest 30 that. minutes in history. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not happy about that. <laughs> no kidding. And I really do mean that. I'm so excited um, about your YouTube channel because I believe you have an announcement to share that you have somehow avoided the entire time. I wrote it down so I didn't have to dig for it. <laughs> well, I have 655 subscribers. And I had 250,000 day before yesterday views. And I've had 9.3 thousand views in the past seven days. So I think I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> I would say you're doing amazing. And I am, all of us are thrilled, proud, excited. Because I remember, I mean, I think I'm going to try this shorts thing. And yeah. uh, I wonder how you do a YouTube short. And of course I'm going, I have no idea figure it out and get back to me. And here we are. And I'm so no excited. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. Push a different button, get a different result. And I am thrilled for you times a million because that is so cool. Plus the fact that you get to love on other people from a standpoint of how do I this, where do I something, all of those things. You've got it out there for everybody. Yes. I, um, I try to cram as much as I can into 15 to 30 seconds. So it's <laughs> and that's been fun and challenging, but you know, um, yeah, I, I remember it, one of your shorts, you actually went to a big box store or whatever you call those big stores you go to, and you literally took a picture of a, this and a something and a that and, and put it all together on a short. And I was like, oh my gosh, you were doing your garden boxes and things like that. And I thought, oh my goodness, the views that you get from all of your construction is amazing. Yeah, that was one of those. I I just slapped it together and was like, well, let's just see what happens. And that that I think was like six or seven thousand people. I, I just was like, okay. And all I did was walk through Home Depot, kind of like hiding from people because they're yeah. they're like, well, you? like, what are you doing? <laughs> no, never mind me. Yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah, but it's it's been it's been fun. You know, it's been a great journey, and. Um, I, I love doing what I do. It, it brings me great happiness and joy. And if it g gives information and happiness to others, you know, it's a win-win. So thank well, you. Queen. We, are, we are thrilled for you times a million doc. And when you start monetizing uh, your channel, we will be watching and sharing and pinning and commenting on your videos and continue to do that. Everybody, please go to kitchen garden expert on YouTube. And every time you see a video or a short that resonates with you, be sure and comment and then use an emoticon like the heart sign or the thumbs up so that Doc will know that you have been there to comment on her videos. We are thrilled times a million for these kind of numbers. Well, thank you, Queenie. And thank you, everybody, for joining us, whether live or on the replay. Her Doc and Queenie live. You can find Queenie all over social media at Kathy Weaver KC or you can go directly to her website at KathyWeaverKC.com. And of course... I'm Kitchen Garden Expert all over the place on social media and kitchengardenexpert.com. We hope you have a blessed 
And, you know, non-tornado, maybe a little bit rain for the flowers kind of week. Or if you're growing vegetables like me, you know, it's one less day we have to water. We're always happy about that. Until next time, have a fantastic week. And we'll catch you right back here on Monday again live. Thank you, Queenie. Thank you, Doc. Bye for now, my friends. We'll see Bye. you at high noon. Bye now. Take care. Bye.